Welcome to This Week in Nerf, your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. I'm Adriana, and you know why we're here. Let's, let me tell you the news. Dart Zone now has their new bamboo darts up for pre-order on their website. I know after the mags were released and we still didn't see darts, everyone was like, ah, when are they coming? Well, now. Now's the answer. And the big question in everyone's mind is, how much do they cost? So, for 240 darts, we will need to pay $30. I wouldn't say that's a bargain, but not a rip-off either. It's, it's an okay price, in, in my opinion. I know uh, Foam Blast sells worker darts for about $0.09 cents a piece, and the Dart Zone Pro darts work out to a smidge over $0.12 cents a piece, so not too bad. What isn't very good is I said 240 darts, but what I meant was 120 of each type of dart. There's only one skew for this uh, dart pack pre-order, and it's a half and half pack of full and half length darts. And most people aren't going to be valuing both types of darts the same. I'm a little disappointed in that. <laughs> I wish that they had separated out the two SKUs so I could stock up on those on those half lengths and I'd maybe get a couple of full lengths, but definitely not in the same amounts for how I play and the blasters that I play with. Now, if you have a buddy who does value the other type of dart, that's perfect. Then it works out great for you because you can share. So let's say you have that situation, or let's say that you value uh, both types of darts equally, and that's not a deal breaker for you. Should you buy them? Well, the Dart Zone Pro darts work really well in the Dart Zone Pro and in lightly modded blasters. Uh, the half-length darts are on par with Worker Gen 3 in uh, highly modified blasters. So. They're good darts. It's just a shame that they had to, had to mush them together like that. While there is no official event posting for End War 2020, Drac did post the dates on the End War Facebook page. June 26th to 28th is when we'll have End War 2020. So you can go ahead and buy your plane tickets now if you need to do that. Um, there is a small airport at the college near the college campus that only a handful of airlines go to. So if you can find tickets to that airport, that would be best. Otherwise, it's a little bit of a drive. However, you should hold off on hotel accommodations because they are working on group rates and potentially housing on campus. That would be way better than paying out the wazoo for a hotel. Another little little bit that I liked from that post. Uh, it's going to be out of this world, apparently. And in a share of that post, another moderator uh, casually said that it would be stellar. All these space puns. I like it. However, space is a pretty big category. What do you guys think the theme will be? Leave that in the comments. Neroda has been posting about his HPA bolt putt blaster for a little while now, but now the files are released and ready for you guys to print. It's a fully contained bottle on board blaster, which is actually kind of cool. Depending on what breach you use, it can get anywhere from 130 to 250 FPS, and the bottle he suggests will do about 200 shots. However, that is a heck of a parts list. And I'll be honest, I don't feel at all bad that this might be a little bit of a difficult build. HPA is the only area of nerf that I support gatekeeping. If you don't know what you're doing, you should not be doing it. But these files are available now. If you, if you like HPA and you are allowed to use HPA, check your local laws and your Cubs rules, club's rules first. Um, that's available, and it's pretty much the Nerf equivalent of a paintball marker, and that's kind of cool in its own right. Speaking of homemade builds, Devil Z posted this concept for a tiny, tiny flywheel pistol. Devil's is 
definitely known for coming up with some uh, innovative designs. He always finds really interesting ways around problems. And this blaster is not going to be any different. There's no metal springs, so instead you're going to have flexing printed parts for uh, mag releases, that sort of thing. Toolless slide removal, and it's optimized for easy printing and easy assembly. Uh, that part, I guess, will remain to be seen as I believe he's looking for people to test out this design right now. So if you think that this blaster looks cool, and I know I do, contact Devil Z. He might supply you with the files. And now it's time for Mod of the Week. And this week I picked this awesome hammer shot from Every7. This hammer shot has a long shot plunger shoved inside of it, and then the barrel is from a tri-strike attachment. It shoots four mega darts. I think he has a smart AR in there. It's... This thing is so cool. It would look so intimidating on the battlefield. How do you fit a long shot plunger inside of a hammer shot, you ask? Well, mostly, mostly zip ties, it seems. It doesn't close. Long shot plunger tubes are big, hammer shots are small. What do you expect? It's very unwieldy. Uh, he said he can't prime it with one hand. He has to either use two hands or, and end up taking his finger off the trigger. But this... This is the kind of stuff that I really like. <laughs> Great job, Every7. And last we have Video of the Week. You guys know I love competitive footage. This week's Video of the Week comes from Lightning Eagle 14 with some spectator footage from the Foam Pro Tour. <sighs> I just... I just love competitive. It's so much fun. And watching all the games through is great, whether it's watching myself or watching other teams. Just seeing more people playing from more angles, it makes us all better. So I hope that any competitors next year are going over as much footage as they can, trying to gather as much strategy as they can from all of the different teams that were doing different things and trying different blasters and different uh, positions. It makes us all better. So thank you for posting this Lightning Eagle. Better late than never. And there you have it. That's the news. If you want links for downloads or discussion posts for anything that I talked about this week, in the description is where you find those links. Just click them. It's that easy. Also click the subscribe and the like button if you like me. We'll be back next week, Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific. So join me then. Bye. Wah! What is this? Ninja. I got this at the dollar store. I'm gonna use it as a shooting target. I think you're supposed to fill the bottom with sand. Ninja. Pop. But it is what it is. I gotta do that again. That was bad. What's going on this week in Nerf? <laughs> While the e official, e official, while there is still no official <clears throat> or page, I suck today. While there's still no official event, po uh, what the f <laughs> official event posted for end war 2020 posted for the end war for the end war so if you want to get your flight accommodations why did i say accommodations that's weird there's still no official event <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. confirmed dates ow i hurt my finger you know what time it is mod of the week and i did not write down this person's username Dope. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, computer, I am typing. The dart zone... <clears throat> um... Yep, that's everything. Bye! Mmm. Yum.